Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 3rd of 2025 is titled A Double Helix Lunar Eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a double helix and a lunar eclipse. So let's look at the moon first up toward the top of the image here. That is a lunar eclipse glowing in the red, and it is red because of sunlight that sneaks through Earth's atmosphere and into Earth's shadow. Now, if it were not for Earth's atmosphere, our shadow would be essentially completely dark, and the moon would simply disappear during a lunar eclipse. However, because we do have an atmosphere, the longer wavelengths are scattered into the shadow, which are going to be the red colors, and that means that when something moves into Earth's shadow, it's going to get a distinct red color to it. And that's why we get a blood moon, a blood red moon, at the time of a lunar eclipse. Now, the other two paths we see here, one is more prominent than the other, so let's take a look at that. That is our Milky Way galaxy, stretching from the upper left-hand side, and then down and across the image, and ending in the lower right. That is the plane of our own galaxy, which is flattened like a disk. And within the disk of the galaxy is where stars are forming, and that means we see the bright star clouds, brighter regions here, as well as the dark dust clouds where star formation is still just starting within our Milky Way. Now we can also see the red glow of hydrogen gas as stars form. The, some of those very hot stars emit a lot of ultraviolet light, which excites the hydrogen gas and causes it to glow. Hydrogen, when excited, will give off a specific wavelength of red light, which is what we are seeing here. Now, the other path, which is a little harder to see, starts down toward the bottom and heads almost straight up, crossing through the Milky Way on the right-hand side of the image, and then turns across, going through the moon, and heading up and crossing the Milky Way again in the upper left. This is what is known as the zodiacal light. It's actually the plane of our own solar system. And what happens is the sun sends light out through the solar system. As it reaches dust that is scattered around our solar system, some of that is reflected back to Earth. So we're really seeing reflected sunlight, not by an individual object such as a planet, but by dust within our solar system. So you can see this glow here that is present as we look through that direction. Now, we can note that the moon is on this path, and this would be also what is called the path of the ecliptic. The ecliptic would be the apparent path of the sun, which would also follow the solar system. And therefore, we would expect to find the sun, moon, and planets at various times along this path. Now, of course, if the sun were along this path at the time, you wouldn't be able to see it because of the excessive brightness of the sun. But the planets and the moon will also be found on this and can often be seen in the zodiacal light. So that was our picture of the day for November 3rd of 2025. It was titled A Double Helix Lunar Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Comet Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.